reality television. To me, the truest, purest form of reality television is CCTV. I think reality TV feels like you're interacting, that you're going backstage, behind the scenes, you're seeing how the shows are made, who the people really are when the masks come off, when the performances are over. I cannot tell you how big it is and how manipulative it is and the reality isn't what it seems. The real decisions in television are made by the uh, directors and the editors. It's the dominant television form of our times. Around the world, I think there's three channels that show nothing but reality shows. Is that a good thing or, or anything but? Well, the truth about reality TV, in my view, is that it is trapped on a sensationalist conveyor belt, and no one knows where that conveyor belt ends. You wouldn't watch it if you saw lots of people running around being super capable and doing lots of things. You, the average person perhaps wouldn't find that as interesting as, oh my God, I so would have known what to do. It seemed to me that the viewer was being asked time after time to engage with a form of entertainment which was ultimately very cruel and exploitative. I've asked about the ethics of the morality. Um, I'll never forget one of the producers um, said to me, um, don't start unraveling that thread because it will all fall apart. It's not a good advertisement for the industry. We have celebrities doing the things that ordinary people were doing in a bid to become famous, but now you had famous people doing even more extraordinary things. For what? I thought it was really interesting. Um, I do find reality TV very fascinating from a viewing perspective and kind of a psychological perspective. And that everybody has sex with everybody, basically. And it is the most disgusting, vile, absolutely... So why would people take part in it? People want to see blood. People want to see... <laughs> they want to see you suffer. They want to see someone die on live TV. I don't know where it will end, but I know it will end badly.